Hey, this is the second video of the night, and I wanted to um, give a quick synopsis of why I love Japan. Um, I was born in Fort Worth, Texas. My dad was Air Force, and the first place he was stationed outside of Fort Worth was Okinawa, Japan for me. So for four years, I got to be a kid, run around Japan, make friends, see all the beautiful seasons of southern Japan. Technically, Okinawa is only hot and cold and, and muggy, but you still get snow sometimes. Also with that, I've always had an interest in the Japanese culture because of where I grew up and all the Kung Fu and Ninja and Assassin Samurai movies I saw as a kid. So I have a <laughs> 35 year love affair with the country that I've only lived in for six. So, um, opinions on most cities. Tokyo, get in, do what you need to do, get out. It's, it's huge, it's massive, it's 13 million people. It's an international city. It feels more like New York to me. Not that everyone's rude, but you, you get the rub when you're in a tight public transit or when people are being just jerks in general. But Tokyo overall is a beautiful place. It's just the people in it sometimes, including the foreigners. Um, my top city, Kobe or Kumamoto, the two Ks. Kumamoto's in Kyushu, that's where I lived for two years. It's a small town vibe. It's just like the city of San Antonio if you've ever been. People are friendly, the food is great. And being in Japan, you do randomly get snow in Kumamoto, which makes it epic. Um, Kobe. My love affair with Kobe is the stuff of legends. It's between the mountains and the sea. Literally. If you are standing in a city of town, which is San Mamiya, next to the train station or anywhere in that circle, of traffic, you're 22 minutes from the mountains and 20 from the ocean. It doesn't get much better than that. And that's 22 minutes by car. And that's 20 minutes by car back to the water. But just think of it in those terms, that's how close you are. Also with the, public, the power of public transit in Japan, in the city of Kobe, you can go towards Himeji and the train will stop right in front of the beach. It'll stop close enough to Himeji Castle. You'll see the Gigantor statue. Going the opposite way towards Osaka, you're going to see everything else beautiful. I cannot recommend those two cities enough. Past that further down the list, Fukuoka. Oh my god, Fukuoka is amazing. It's a Kyushu town with that edgy vibe of awesomeness. And when I mean edgy, it's like you never know what's around the next corner. Maybe it might be a shrine, it might be a temple, it might be a shopping arcade, but the people are super friendly, nice, food is decent, they're very sarcastic in Japanese, FYI. Past that, Kyoto. Oh my god, Kyoto is gorgeous. The Kyoto Inari Shrine, Fumi Inari Shrine is, is a trek, but these are my recommendations based off my trip. If you're looking for electronics, toys, games, and you don't want to go digging through Tokyo, you have Shizuoka. There's three great places I can recommend in Shizuoka. Then you have Dinden Town in Osaka, which is in Kansai. Yes, you want to go to Dinden Town. Everything you can't find in Tokyo, if you can't find it between Kobe and Osaka, it's not worth finding if you're not going to Aru Aru City in Kokura. So there are plenty of wonderful things you can ask me about Japan. Japan has been a part of my life for 35 years. I love it. The people are hilarious. The food is amazing. And every season has its high moments and low moments. You just got to get out there and explore. So I hope you find this video informative and helpful. I'm still on the treadmill getting ready for my trip in 50 days. So, holler at me. Peace.